All right, we're going to finish up this unit of math with 10.10. Two pages, both of them are working for fluency of combinations to 10. First page. It's a matching one. So again, if you don't have the paper, you don't have manipulatives, whatever, as long as you're working on the, the concept of what two numbers make 10. What we're looking for by the end of kindergarten is to be fluent um, in combinations of 10, which means they don't, the kid doesn't really need to think about it. You don't have to think too much. Five and five make 10, two and eight make 10. Um, it doesn't have to be super fast, but it's without, without having to count out on your fingers um, by the end of kindergarten. And it'll be reviewed in first grade. And especially with these times, we're flexible. All right. So for this one, you can use your fingers, you can use manipulatives, you can even just use the paper itself or don't use the paper at all and just talk about it and use your fingers. I'm gonna use the paper because this is a concept that we've done in class, but it's a little bit trickier for kindergartners. So I'm gonna start with on the, the left side, just like reading a book. I'm gonna start on the left at the top, but I'm not gonna go straight to the right. I'm gonna look at this one first and I'm gonna count the dots that they gave me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine and how many? Nine and one. So I need to find the one that shows me nine and one. Ooh, there it is. So I'm gonna draw a straight line down to it. Not a squiggly crazy line, just a straight line. All right, my next one, I'm gonna count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They gave me 10 dots. So do I need to put any more dots to make that into 10? No, it is 10 dots. 10 and what make 10? 10 and zero. So I'm gonna look through, where is my 10 and zero? Oh, it's all the way at the bottom. So I'm gonna match this dot here to that dot there. Now they gave me, for the next one, they gave me one, two dots. So I need to figure out how many dots I need to put with it to make it into 10. They gave me two. So I'm gonna start counting how many dots I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need two and eight to make 10. So I'm gonna come back over here and find the one that says two and eight, and I'm going to draw my line to match them. I'll do one more. They gave me one, two, three, four dots. I need to figure out how many I put with four to make it into 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four and six make 10. So I need to find that on this side and I draw my line. Got a little bit wet, it's okay. In the last page, we've done this one before. We did it in the last unit. You're going to write the number that would make it into 10. So they already gave me nine. How many do I put with my nine to make it into 10? One. They gave me one. So how many do I put with one to make it into nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make a C at the top, all the way up and all the way down. Here they gave me one, two. I'm gonna count the rest to figure it out. I hope you don't hear my washing machine in the background. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two and eight make 10. Use your fingers, use manipulatives, talk it out. The point we wanna be at by the end of this unit is to be able to figure out what you put with 10 to make, or put with a number to make it into 10. Um, and it's great for this age because we have fingers. We have 10 fingers. Everyone in our class has 10 fingers. So we're good with using our fingers. It is completely appropriate to count on your fingers at this age. Um, we want to move away from it as we get older. But at this point, when we're building the concept in our minds, use your fingers. Use, use beans. Use sticks. Use anything you want. It's, it's playing with these things are going to help it to um, become concrete in the mind. Let me know if you have any questions. That is the end of unit 10. We're going to pause on the next unit. I don't know what's happening with all this stuff exactly, but at least we got through unit 10.